I'm Chris from the Hypro Service Department. Today I'll be showing you how to work on a 2400 series Powerline Plus plunger pump. The tools required for working on this pump include an external plier, a needle nose plier, a flat blade screwdriver, a torque wrench, a rubber hammer, a 916 socket, a 1 inch socket, a quarter inch Allen wrench, a 1 inch pipe or piece of PVC, and a 1 inch roller from a larger roller pump or something of equivalent size for removing the oil seals. Let's get started. Use your quarter inch Allen wrench to remove the six head bolts. Rotating the crankshaft can help to separate the head from the crankcase. If needed, Use your flat blade screwdriver to pry it off the rest of the way, being careful not to damage the seal retainers underneath. Remove the backup rings and the high pressure seal. If needed, you can use your external pliers to remove these and inspect them for any cracking, damage, scratches on the inside, or melting from running the pump dry. Repeat for each cylinder. Sometimes the backup rings or one of the other components may come out with the head and stick in here or they might stick on to the plunger itself. Next thing would be to remove these seal retainers to look at the low pressure seals and the seal rings. Remove that washer and then this is your low pressure seal. You'll want to inspect that for any deep scratches, melting from running the pump dry, or other damage. Use your flat blade screwdriver to remove that, paying attention to its orientation. It goes in with that groove facing this way up towards the top of the head. Then we can pull off these retainers and inspect the o-ring and seal ring for any damage or deep scratches. These seals are all included in the repair kit. Repeat for the other two plungers. Now that we've inspected the packings for wear and damage, the next thing to do is to take a look at the valves. Use your one inch socket to remove the valve caps. Inspect the valve caps for extreme wear on the inside here. You'll see a pattern that looks like the top of the, uh, the valve cage. The next thing would be to remove the valves themselves. Use your needle nose pliers to remove the valves. And you'll want to check for any obstructions in the valve or a broken spring. Use your flat blade screwdriver to separate the seat from the cage and inspect the spring, the poppet for any pitting or abrasion, and also the valve seat for pitting. Replace if necessary. Checking the valves for wear and obstructions is one of the first things you'd want to do if you've experienced a loss of pressure. It can also be caused by wear in the head or a clogged strainer or too small of an inlet line. Remove the valve o-rings with the screwdriver and inspect the surface area that the valve sits on. It should be smooth all the way across. If you feel a step in it, the head is beginning to wash out and should be replaced. Here's an example of a washed out head. Notice the step on this surface area. That head should be replaced. Now that we've inspected the wet end components, we can check the plunger area and also if the pump has been leaking oil from this weep hole area, we'll want to change out the oil seals. First thing that you need to do 
is remove these plungers by taking your 916 socket and removing the nuts. Remove the plungers by twisting and pulling them straight off. And you'll want to inspect these for any deep scratches or chips. Replace if necessary. To remove the oil seal, you'll need to remove this brass cartridge by taking your flat blade screwdriver and prying it out. Sling a ring. This is your oil seal. Inspect that for any damage, deep scratches, and also you can inspect the lower plunger for any deep scratches as well that may cause a leak. Next thing will be to remove the oil seal from this cartridge. To remove the oil seal from the cartridge, you'll want to use a roller part number 1005-0005 or a bolt or a piece of PVC pipe, whatever you can find that will fit down under the casing of the seal. And press it out. And also inspect this o-ring for any damage and replace if necessary. To reinstall the new seal, you want to make sure that the spring side is facing away from the cartridge and then press that straight on. That's it. Repeat for the other two.